This is ABG part three. I am now getting ready to actually do my puncture. I'm going to prepare the site. I'm going to get my iodine. Okay, I'm going to take it and find in a circular motion, starting in the center and working my way out. This stuff's messy, so be careful at the bedside. The nurse is going to be angry with me already because I've splattered. And I'm going to take my alcohol, open it, same motion, starting in the center, working my way out. Okay. I now have my gauze where I can find it. Be cautious with laying it in the linen. It is white and it will blend, so be careful. So now I'm going to take my cap off and I did recap purposely I wanted to do that whenever you're pulling apart pull apart this way not too closely because you don't want to end up puncturing your hand so pull apart nicely put my cap here okay all right Mr. Dumpy if you'll just relax your hand for me okay I'm finding the strongest I have um, my hand, you hold it like a pencil. Make sure that you hold further back. You don't want to hold here because you can't see a flash when it comes into the syringe. So I hold back. I want to make sure that be bevel is up. Okay, that's the slanted portion. It is up. Okay, so I'm going to come here. I find myself, and it depends on the integrity of the skin, but I find the vessel find the strongest point and then I'm going to lift up but a lot of times I'll find myself kind of tugging on the skin um, that way if you have loose skin uh, it helps to stabilize the vessel so at this point I palpated okay um, Mr. Dumpy are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm getting ready to a big stick I'm coming in I have my flash of blood oops I had to push back in. We started our flow and it stopped. I wasn't deep enough. So our syringe will fill. I'm gonna let that completely fill. Color looks good here, what we're looking for. So I'm completely full. I'm gonna grab, pull out, take my sample, here a click. I'm gonna take it and roll it. So I'm mixing the heparin. And then you can pop out any bubbles. Okay, and I'm gonna hold pressure. Okay, so holding pressure. At this point, um, as for a beginner, sometimes you may find it difficult to do multiple things. Um, you need to be very cautious with the needles. We do not want you to end up splashing blood. So I'm holding pressure. Sight looks good. So I have, I'm gonna put my sample here. I have, so you, it's recommended that you hold for a total of five minutes. So it's been five minutes. I'm reevaluating my sight, looks good. Okay, looks good. Take our Band-Aid. Yes. Didn't even feel it. Good. All right, so at this point, I now have my sample. I am going to take the needle portion off here. I'm going to dispose of that. Okay. See if there's any bubbles. Put those out and then put my cap on. Okay. I popped out my bubbles earlier. So now I will take my sample. We have to label. So I take this, I write down exactly what the patient was on, two liters nasal cannula, their name. Okay, a lot, in most of these facilities now, you can get stickers that have all of that information. You want to take those, wrap it over the back, here, put it in your bag. Okay, close it up. Clean up your mess. 